Damn, baby, you be crazy about that. Damn, baby, you be crazy about that. Diddy's been in my thoughts. Diddy's been in your thoughts. What do I think about Diddy? I'm split. Cut right down the middle. On one hand, freak offs are worldwide. Let's not act like people don't do freak offs worldwide, because they do. I don't necessarily participate. I'm more of a homebody, but I understand. I've been to Los Angeles, I've been to New York. I've been to Florida. I understand the culture and the nature of something that could lead to something called a freak off. So on the other hand, if he's just out here having drug binges at any point in time, it was going to go wrong. Like, I think it almost started back when Rick Ross had that video in, um, I think it showed a clip of Diddy talking to one of his employees and it was just like the most, do you want to walk with God or do you want to walk with me or something like that? Or do you want to walk with them or do you want to walk with God? It was like really crazy and I'm like, so there's footage of times when Diddy snapping. I don't know if he had cleared that to come out, but we have to think about it. What if he didn't? That means people have been keeping tabs. So. I'm divided because on one hand, he sounds like the ultimate drug lord. If you listen to that clip, it gives you that Scarface vibe. So if I'm a Fed listening, it's just like, hold on, this isn't even a regular billionaire. This guy's like a drug billionaire or a uh, criminal billionaire. So it's like, if I'm them, I'm waiting for an opportunity to be able to swoop in there and do an investigation. So I kind of get it on that, but I'm divided between are these actual criminal charges? If I go to a party and I'm bringing my own blow and I'm bringing my own, you know, party festival, I mean, party, uh, party favors or whatever. And then there's party favors. There is a party. Am I really um, doing something against my will? Like when you go to a party, do you expect there to be drinks? Like, of course we don't want them to be drugged. That's like a given. But if this person is known since the 80s or 90s, whatever it is, if they were putting blow inside their blunts, they're called dirties, I think, or something like that. Like, that was a pretty regular thing. So if you're just hitting the blunt around this person, it's just like, Nine times out of ten, you should probably ask what's in it. Like, not to say that you shouldn't be informed, like, yo, there's this is a dirty, but in the heat of a binge with a hundreds of people to thousands of people going in and out the door, we're not keeping track of adults, I don't think. I don't think anyone is in that situation. So that's what brings me to a divide. Now, if we're at a party and people are locked into different bedrooms and aren't allowed to leave for days upon weeks and they're really trapped and against their will and that that that's way deeper you should literally be in jail what in the heck are you doing you should be um prosecuted to the to the to the most possible extent along there. like we can't just be keeping people in bedrooms bro in mansions regardless of what type of money you have and i'm sure there are people out here who do that every day who are out here um any lies in people's families uh, torn apart because of people with those type of traits. I'm not saying that's not a possibility because like I said, I'm just at a divide, bro. Because I, I hear, I, I look at it like the baby oil thing. Like, I make a billionaire. I think the camera's fine. I think a billionaire would just have like a bunch of random stuff. Like, why does a billionaire have a helicopter on top of the house. Like, I mean, I get it, but like, I mean, I think the baby boy, the baby oil might be more, you know, feasible. That's more doable. It's more reasonable, you know? Keep your skin good, man. But, um, you know, um, what do you think of the comments, man? What do you think about the P. Diddy situation? I'm starting to just, oops. There we go. I'm starting to just feel um, like a lot of this is like a money grab and it, and it may definitely not be. It may just definitely be like a lot of people were scared to kind of come out of billionaire, which I would understand, you know, it seems like a very serious person and uh, 
the accusations he's had over the years is very serious. So I understand that people want to kind of stay out of his way. But um, now that he's locked up, I feel like more people are going to come forward. They're going to be giving their little testimonies on things, and they're going to um, basically be giving a lot of unhinged details about what's going on. I just hope they're not like stretches for money grabs, and it's actually the truths about what's going on. I want to. I want people to really be like. Um, mindful of of the family and the kids around everyone's situation you know let this be a lesson on uh, on the people in the company you keep too because a lot of people aren't really there for you they're there for the reward at the end of the day um they're in there to when every time you fall from grace or anything they want that's their time to tear you down so um you know, I made I made a video about Diddy, and it was kind of like satire a little bit. But I do want to be serious because he's an actual person, a human being, and you know, we don't know the extent of the truth and the lies yet. So we all have to kind of just stay tuned and um, you know, hope hope things aren't as bad as they seem. Because I'm sure if it is bad, hopefully the law will uh, deal with everybody who's involved and this may go all the way to the top we never really know how deep everything is until it starts to unfold and um, a lot of secrets um, get unalived in the process of them coming to the light in different realms of life so we really have to sit back and kind of like watch and um, you know let's not make too many assumptions let's look at everything for face value and um, you know Bro told us that he wouldn't stop, man. And uh, hopefully it, it wasn't anything negative, man. Because, bro, that's the biggest bag fumble ever. Like, being that old and then having to sit down. Like, I don't know. Like, I heard he's on watch, too. And that's pretty wild. He is on a watch, man. So, um, being in that 23 to 1 is kind of wild. Um, go sit in your room for 10 minutes without a phone or a TV and see how you last and just close the door close the windows and um, sit there in silence and just see what um, even that short time can do to your mind it may go to dark places it may not um, like share and subscribe let me know your thoughts in the comments I appreciate you if you got to the end of the video um, I'm not really going to edit this one too much. I'm just going to kind of throw it out there. I got some things to go do today. We're going to stay active. It is Saturday. Peace, love, and happiness. I love y'all, man.